Welcome back, you guys. Okay, so something I heard recently was, why is it the things that we want to do are the things that we're not doing? And then the things that we don't want to do are the things we are doing. Why is this? This is true, right? I mean, think about it in so many different ways. The things that we don't want to do, go to work every day. <laughs> Fill up our gas tank. Pay our bills. Make our... Uh, okay, I'm not going to say make our bed. But like, do the laundry. Things that we don't want to do. I mean, we probably don't want to make our bed either. And we're probably not doing that, to be honest. Um, are the things that we're doing. We're going to work every day. We're filling up our gas tank. We're doing the laundry. We're doing all these things, right? And these are all things that we don't want to do. But then the things that we want to do, like set goals, follow our dreams, big things, even the smaller things that we want to do, like maybe hang out with your one of your really good friends that you haven't seen in a long time, things that you want to do. We aren't actually making goals or setting time aside to do, are we? Why? And I'm genuinely asking, okay, why, what is it that is holding you back from doing the things that you actually want to do? Is it because you're too busy doing the things that you want to do? I mean, don't want to do that you don't have time to do the things that you actually want to do? Is it because maybe it's not something that you genuinely want to do? Are you self-sabotaging? Get really real with yourself. What is the reason behind why? When I think about my life and the things that I want to do that I'm not doing... Okay, finance could be a huge issue for a lot of people. Um, honestly, I've, I've kind of confronted myself about this really hard. And I'm like, okay, why is it? Because I have a list on my phone of things that I want to do. Like, I, okay, there's so many ways I want to go with this <laughs> episode. Okay, but I have a list of things. Start with this. In my phone that, yeah, I want to do a list for everything. Things I want to buy. Things I want to go. I mean, things I want to do. Excuse me. Places I want to go. Um, like, literally, it's very, I'm very, very, very calculated. This is also where I wanted to go with this episode. Is, is that, okay, so why is it that people act like being calculated is such a negative thing. I see nothing. Okay, I can understand the problem with being calculated. Sorry, I feel like I'm so all over the place right now. I can understand the problem with being calculated. Because when you're calculated, you're probably overthinking most of the time. But I hate the fact that everyone acts like overthinking is such a negative trait. People tell me all the time that this is my biggest red flag, is that I'm such a major overthinker. And granted, it's true, but I don't understand why exactly this is such a negative thing. Because if you think about it, overthinking is strategy. And strategy is needed in every aspect of life, especially if you want to rise up. If you look at the army, not even just the army, but any military branch, right? Do they not overthink what their strategy is against their opponent? Do they not calculate everything that they're going to do? If you think about somebody who runs a business, <clears throat> I know from experience, I'm very calculated. I have to overthink everything, think it thoroughly through, overthink some more. Maybe I was actually told today that my maybe my problem is that I don't take enough risks because I do overthink it a little bit. I'm going to digest that. 
I'm chewing on it still. I'm going to digest it in a few days probably and realize that that is true. But that being said, being calculated still isn't a bad thing. It's not. Like, okay, overthink to an extent, of course, but to the extent. No, no further than the extent is basically where the line needs to be drawn. But it's not a bad thing to be calculated. And in my opinion, being calculated and overthinking go very hand in hand. Therefore, why are we not calculating, calculating, first of all, what exactly it is that we do want to do and over, and yeah, kind of overthink why exactly is it that we're not doing said thing? Why is it that we're not, if this is something that we genuinely want to do, what is holding us back? This is something that I, again, have been really kind of calling myself out on this year is realizing where I stand with the things that I want to do and I haven't done. And I'm trying very, very hard to knock all of them off my list. Little by little, month by month. Setting monthly goals for yourself is such a manageable task. It's so manageable. It actually is really refreshing because you can look forward to it all month, getting that goal knocked off of your bucket list. And it's probably affordable for the most part. I mean, depending on what your goal is, it's probably something that is not outrageous. And just imagine how good it would make you feel. And getting that thing, whatever that is, knocked off your bucket list is only going to create the snowball effect of you wanting to knock off all these other things off your bucket list and so forth. It's going to make you want to start making your bed every day. It's going to make you want to start doing all these things that make you feel good because you feel good and you are an overachiever. In my opinion, being calculated and being an overthinker can actually lead you to being an overachiever. As long as it doesn't lead you into a panic attack first. This is why, again, you got to draw the line. (laughs) So I want to ask you, what is it in your life that is something that you want to do? I'm going to tell you for me, it is, oh, I mean, there's a million things I want to do. There's so many things I want to do, but one for this month is flying a plane. This is something that I have always, okay, I take that back. This is something I've actually never wanted to do (laughs) until very recently. I was like, you know what? I kind of just came up with this idea. I was like, I feel like it would make me feel so invincible if I could say I've literally flown a plane. I also want to skydive because that I've heard that once you skydive, there is nothing like that feeling on the other side. And so I really want to do that. And I'm like, if I'm going to do that, I might as well fly a plane so I can literally fly a plane and jump out of a plane the same year. Why not? So anyway, I'm doing a discovery flight flight soon and I cannot wait to explain how that goes. I'm probably going to do an entire episode on this, but yeah, that's one thing for me, just to give you guys an example. What is something for you equivalent to that or not equivalent to that, but that is important to you? It does not matter how big or small or high or low the goal is. A goal is a goal is a goal is a goal. And if it makes you happy and it makes you want to do better in your life, That is what is important. If you need help with pursuing your goals or breaking down what exactly your goal even is, because it's so overwhelming to start. It is. It's beyond overwhelming. I get it. I get it. I have been there. I get there all the time and I have to check in with myself regularly all the time. And if you would like some help with pursuing this dream goal of yours, figuring out what it is, you are more than welcome to book a free discovery call with me. The link will be in the description below. 
And you can also check out my podcast, Make Waves, Mermaid Cassandra, available every place podcasts are found. You can also follow me on almost any social media platform at Make Waves Coach and also at Mermaid Cassandra with a K as I am a professional mermaid and I post a lot of my journey as to following my dream. This is actually how I became a life coach. Long story short, I will probably do more episodes on this journey myself. It's pretty cool if I do say so myself. I will talk to all of y'all very soon. Go out there and make waves. Mwah.